NVIDIA's meteoric rise has minted fortunes and rewritten the rules of Wall Street. But here's the billion-dollar question. Is this the AI era's ultimate GPU king or the riskiest bet at today's levels? Is it still the right time to buy, or should you wait for a dip? We'll look at what's happening with NVIDIA before Wednesday's earnings report and why Wall Street is paying close attention. But first, this video also features three other AI stocks, including CoreWeave, a rising name already called the next big one. To celebrate hitting 5,000 subscribers, I've put together a free guide on spotting breakout stocks. You can grab it from the description below. If you find this video valuable, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. It helps us reach more investors like you. And as always, here's a quick reminder. This video is for educational and informational purposes only. It is not financial advice. Investing in stocks is risky. Always do your own research before making any decisions. All right, with that said, let's get started. NVIDIA's ticker NVDA has become the crown jewel of the AI revolution and the most valuable company in the stock market. At nearly $180 per share, the chipmaker has gained over a third of its value in 2025, pushing its market cap above $4 trillion. The reason is simple. NVIDIA isn't just riding the AI wave, it's building the surfboard. Ahead of earnings on August 27th, Wall Street analysts have been rushing to raise their price targets. Stifle raised its target to $212, citing growing adoption of its GB200 chips and optimism about restarting sales in China, while Baird raised theirs to $225, citing significant acceleration in GB200 sell-through and the upcoming September launch of the GB300, which promises a significant leap in performance. Other major players like Morgan Stanley, UBS, and Wedbush also followed suit, emphasizing NVIDIA's strong leadership in AI infrastructure. Consensus now projects $46 billion in revenue and $1.01 EPS for Q2, a significant increase from $30 billion and $0.68 EPS a year earlier. Looking ahead, Q3 estimates suggest $53.36 billion in revenue and $1.20 EPS, remarkable growth even by NVIDIA's high standards. But it's not all smooth sailing. The U.S. government has permitted NVIDIA to resume shipments of its H20 processors to China although Beijing has warned local buyers against purchasing them. Some analysts view this as China's way of pushing for the adoption of domestic alternatives like Huawei chips, or as a strategy to pressure the U.S. into approving exports of NVIDIA's upcoming Blackwell B30A CEO Jensen Huang has been at the forefront of negotiations, with NVIDIA securing a revenue-sharing deal with the Trump administration that could unlock additional licenses. However, geopolitical risk continues to cast a shadow over the stock. While GPUs dominate the headlines, NVIDIA is also increasing its involvement in AI infrastructure. Its networking division, NVLink, InfiniBand, and Ethernet, generated $12.9 billion last year, surpassing its entire gaming segment. New platforms like Jetson Thor, a robotic system with 7.5x the power of its predecessor, are expanding new frontiers in autonomous systems and edge AI. Looking ahead, NVIDIA is investing heavily in silicon photonics to connect GPUs at the speed of light in next-generation data centers. Here's the tension. NVIDIA trades at 56x earnings, a multiple that surpasses Microsoft, Apple, and Alphabet. Bulls argue NVIDIA deserves this valuation. After all, it controls about 80% of the AI chip market and supports the largest workloads for Microsoft, Amazon, and Google. Bears counter that, at these valuations, NVIDIA is priced for perfection. Any misstep, whether from slower adoption, regulatory pushback, or macroeconomic headwinds, could lead to a sharp correction. NVIDIA remains the undisputed backbone of AI, but the stakes have never been higher. Its Q2 earnings could either confirm the sky-high expectations or provide a strict reality check. The chart doesn't lie. If NVIDIA breaks out above $185 with conviction, the door opens to another leg higher, fueled by relentless AI demand and strong institutional support. But if momentum stalls, a pullback toward $160 to $170 may offer disciplined investors a cleaner entry. Despite short-term technical fluctuations, NVIDIA stays a top AI stock, the kind of investment long-term investors hold at the heart of their portfolios. The fundamentals remain strong, their lead in GPUs is still unchallenged, and the AI supercycle is just beginning. 
The takeaway is straightforward. NVIDIA remains strong, but savvy investors will monitor the technical levels just as carefully as the AI headlines. All right, moving to the next stock, there's another company revolutionizing the foundation of generative AI. But instead of fiber optics, it's GPUs on demand. CoreWeave, ticker symbol CRWV, is a company rapidly gaining attention in the AI race. On the surface, the story sounds almost too good to be true. This company isn't developing consumer apps or futuristic chatbots. In simple terms, CoreWeave runs a specialized GPU cloud platform, basically a high-performance AWS tailored for AI. It supports training large AI models, accelerates generative AI tasks, and even handles Hollywood-quality VFX rendering. Companies in finance, life sciences, and industry are turning to CoreWeave's computing power to bring the AI future to life. CoreWeave has been one of Wall Street's most discussed AI infrastructure stocks this year. Revenue and net income are skyrocketing, and despite some volatility, the stock is still up more than 126% year-to-date. That's why major banks like J.P. Morgan and Goldman Sachs have been active in block trades around the $90 to $97 range. Some view it as institutions taking profits, while others see it as short-term shakeouts. Meanwhile, Aride recently upgraded CoreWeave to buy with a $180 price target, indicating that analysts still see room for growth. On valuation metrics, CoreWeave trades at a $12.6 price-to-sales ratio, which is below its AI infrastructure peer's 18.2x average, but significantly above the IT industry's 2.6x baseline. Simply, Wall Street's fair ratio analysis indicates that CoreWeave might be undervalued given its growth trajectory and market position. For patient investors, this could represent a long-term opportunity. But here's where the story becomes more complicated. After its IPO, 83% of shares were unlocked, and insiders sold over $1 billion worth of stock. Shares dropped nearly 35% in just two days, showing how quickly investor confidence can fade in high-growth tech. Then there's the debt load. With $8 to $11 billion in debt on its books, CoreWeave is aggressively reinvesting to grow. That strategy has its benefits, but leaves little room for error if AI demand slows. Customer concentration is another warning sign. More than half of CoreWeave's revenue depends on Microsoft. If that partner reduces support or demands harsher terms, CoreWeave's growth could be suddenly affected. Valuation goes both ways. While the relative PS appears appealing, the stock is still priced for nearly perfect execution. Any earnings miss, AI hype slowdown, or execution hiccup could cause sharp corrections. So, is CoreWeave the next major AI infrastructure player, or just another overheated risk? On one hand, it sits at the heart of AI adoption, providing the unseen support that powers large-scale AI. On the other hand, insider selling, heavy debt, reliance on a single customer, and inflated valuations make this one of the riskiest names in the AI race. For cautious investors, it's a stock to watch from the sidelines until cash flows turn positive and customer diversification improves. Moving to the following AI stock, while NVIDIA captures the headlines with GPUs, Marvel is carving out its place with custom silicon, interconnects, memory IP, and now cloud security hardware. On August 18, 2025, Microsoft announced that Marvel's Liquid Security Hardware Security Modules, HSMs, would power its Azure Cloud HSM service, signaling a decisive vote of confidence from one of the largest hyperscalers in the world. This deepens an already strong partnership between the two companies and emphasizes a key point. AI infrastructure isn't just about GPUs, but also about security, trust, and scalability. As businesses move sensitive workloads to the cloud, demand for HSM as a service is expected to increase. For Marvel, this partnership is more than just a headline. It's a short-term revenue driver and a long-term credibility enhancer. Marvel is rapidly expanding into hyperscale AI, securing wins with 18 hyperscaler customers, and building a pipeline of over 50 potential design contracts. This summer, we will launch a 2 nanometers custom SRAM and introduce package-integrated voltage regulator solutions for data centers, demonstrating our customization of innovation to meet hyperscaler needs. Along with Microsoft's HSM deal, Marvel is enhancing its position across compute, power efficiency, and security layers of AI infrastructure. Marvel aims for $11.9 billion in revenue and $2.5 billion in earnings by 2028, 
projecting a 22% annual revenue growth rate. However, that outlook isn't assured. The company is still recovering from a $491.5 million net loss, and free cash flow remains unpredictable. Valuation tells the story. MRVL trades at 12. 6 PS below AI peers 18x indicating some upside. However, its customer concentration risk, with hyperscalers like Microsoft and AWS making up most of its growth, means execution is crucial. Any slowdown in cloud or AI spending could significantly impact its prospects. After slipping earlier this month due to supply chain concerns, MRVL has stabilized near the $73 level. Resistance is still at $78 to $80, with support around $70. A breakout above $80 could point toward $90 to $95, especially if momentum from the Microsoft deal continues into earnings. Marvel isn't the flashy face of AI like NVIDIA, but it's quickly becoming the unseen connector, linking compute, memory, and now security for hyperscale workloads. One more extra stock, RichTech Robotics embodies AI's practical core. Robots carrying out essential tasks in hospitality, healthcare, and commercial environments. What does RichTech do? In plain terms, RichTech develops advanced service robots, like Adam, a robot that serves drinks, or Scorpion, a bar-style mixologist. These aren't just demos. They're used in real-world settings such as Walmart, Mercedes-Benz dealerships, casinos, and corporate lobbies. To date, the company has deployed over 300 robots across the U.S. Their technology combines AI perception, adaptive navigation, and multi-robot coordination, all backed by over 11 patents and nearly 20 years of innovation. RR signed a two-year agreement with a major global retailer, ensuring ongoing revenue opportunities and growth potential. RichTech Robotics is quietly developing the infrastructure for robotic service automation, one drink, delivery, and clean floor at a time. If you think that AI's next frontier is in everyday interactions, RR might be your penny stock opportunity. But with penny stock-like volatility and high execution risk, this one's only suitable for speculative investors, not the faint of heart. Which of these three AI stocks are you watching closely? Or is the third stock the next NVIDIA? Let me know in the comments below. Remember, this is for informational and educational purposes only. Investing involves risk. See you in the next video.